wanted to show you this DIY teleprompter that I made. Um, made it some time ago. It's based on very simple two small picture frames. I made it, I built it uh, so long ago that uh, I can't really give credit to uh, the person that came up with the idea. I found it on the internet, I guess, uh, and built this quite a while ago, but just recently I made some changes to it uh, and I thought I'd show it to you. Uh, it might be something that you could use. Uh, let me take this apart so we can get a good look at it. Let me remove the glass first before I break it. And we'll take off this hood that's just down here with clothespins. And the phone. Alright, let's take a closer look. Now as I said, this is based on two inexpensive picture frames. They're mounted together with this metal strap and the bottom forms the spot where you can put your phone and the top frame is to hold the piece of glass that's necessary for the teleprompter. I used uh, two cable holders to hold the glass. And I designed this for my Canon G7X and one of the problems I ran into was uh, when I raised the LCD screen it was blocked by the frame itself when I mounted the camera uh, and I mounted it on a macro slider that I had had for a long time but when I mounted the camera it was too low uh, the lens was right into the bottom frame so what I did, I put it on a mini ball head and uh, raised it up. Then, of course, when I did that, uh, the frame, when I put the hood on the frame, it covered up the LCD screen. I couldn't see it. So what I did, I built myself a little larger frame up here to mount the uh, cover on. And I can still see the LCD screen. It is blocked a little, but it's enough. I can see it enough to frame myself in the shot. And underneath the bottom frame, um, I use a metal strap from uh, Home Depot that's pre-drilled. Um, attached it to the frame and also to the macro slider. You could use this with a mirrorless uh, interchangeable lens camera. That way you could have a microphone. I do, uh, you could just mount this cold shoe at the top here. And that way uh, you could have a microphone. You just need to cut out a little place in the cover for the cold shoe to sit on top. But I don't think it would be very difficult to do. And uh, that way you could uh, have your own microphone. My camera, of course, does not I have to use the onboard mic. Now, as you can see, I just hold the cover on with clothespins. Uh, that works fine. Now, having built this quite a while ago, my phone has changed. And this phone does not quite fit in the frame anymore. It, uh, it's kind of on an angle. So what I did, I put a little piece of foam in here so that the phone would lay flat and as you can see the glass fits into the cable holders uh, you can see a reflection of my lights here but uh, that's generally how that works and here it is with the camera on it and I think you can tell there's enough of the LCD screen showing that I'm able to frame myself in the shot and that's all I really need uh, it's not perfect but it it does the job. Alright, let's uh, give this a little test. And you can see the word scrolling up. And what I did, uh, this does not have a countdown, my uh, app that I'm using for the teleprompter. So I left a space in my um, text 
so that it wouldn't the, the actual text wouldn't start right away. It would give me time to start it, get back to the camera, turn the camera, get the camera going, uh, and then I could read the text. Anyway, um, for a homemade teleprompter that doesn't take much material, it seems to work pretty good. And finally, here's a shot through the teleprompter of me eating a ham sandwich. Of reading what's on the teleprompter. So, I hope this was helpful to you. And I'll see you next time.